Hi, my name is Nancy Ainsley. I'm a urology research nurse at MD Anderson Cancer Center. I'm going to discuss rash and other skin changes as side effects to targeted therapy. There are many side effects which may affect your skin and hair while on targeted therapies. These side effects will vary from patient to patient and also vary depending on the type of targeted therapy you are taking. The most common side effects of the skin and hair are hand foot syndrome, rash, photosensitivity, scars and sores that may take longer to heal, splinter like lines under the fingernails, skin or hair color changes, and alopecia which is a thinning or loss of hair. In this presentation we will review rash and other skin changes that may occur. A rash may vary significantly on the type of rash time of onset, severity, duration, and response to therapeutic intervention. A rash typically consists of papules which are well-defined solid raised areas of skin without fluid or it may have macules which are well-defined flatter areas of skin color change. Sometimes these will be covered with small bumps. The common areas uh, affected are face, scalp, trunk, and extremities. Some patients have ex experienced extreme itching along with the rash. To manage the rash, you would want to use gentle soaps without fragrance, such as Cetaphil Skin Cleanser, Neutrogena, or Aveeno Shower Gel. You should keep your skin well hydrated by drinking a lot of fluids, and keep your skin moisturized by applying moisturizing lotions or creams frequently, such as Bag Balm, Aveeno, Utterly Smooth, lanolin or eucerin. You should um, avoid hot showers, avoid the sun, but if you are in the sun apply sunscreen frequently. You may need to use some type of over-the-counter antihistamines to relieve the itching. You may also need to use some type of steroid or antibiotics. You should consult with your health care provider for direction on these items. Other skin changes that may occur burning or itchy scalp. You may need to use some anti-dandruff shampoo for this. Uh, extremely dry skin, you will need to apply lotion frequently. Skin color changes. You may notice a yellowish tone to your skin. You would need to inform your health care provider about this appearance so that a blood test can be drawn to determine if this skin coloration is due to liver damage or is a drug-induced skin coloration. Photosensitivity, you may find that your skin is more sensitive to sun burning. Uh, the sunlight may also cause a skin rash. You should avoid sun lamps and tanning beds and wear protective clothing when outdoors. Your skin may be thinner and more susceptible to bruising or tearing. You may need to be extra cautious to prevent injury to yourself. And scars and sores may take a longer time to heal. Another condition that you may notice is splinter-like lines beneath your fingernails. It is not associated usually with pain or change in nail integrity, but if you do experience pain, you would need to speak with your health care provider. This does not require any treatment. In summary, you should communicate with your doctor or nurse when side effects occur so they can evaluate and help to manage your symptoms. Preventive care management can minimize the severity of symptoms and increase treatment compliance and quality of life while on these therapies. Thank you.